Okay, welcome back. Um, this is Mr. Hassan's math channel. I am now answering a question from the P4 International A Level Edexcel um, book. And this question is from chapter 5 on differentiation. This is 5A, question number 6. And one of the students has requested for me to answer this question for him. So I'm going to be doing so now. The curve C has parametric equations. Um, x equals t squared minus 3t minus 4 over t and y equals 2t and t is greater than 0. The line L1 is a tangent to C and is parallel to the line with equation y equals x plus 5. Find the equation of line 1. So first of all, this is a curve which is given parametrically. It means that it's not given as y equals some function of x. It's given in terms of a third parameter. So it's like two parts to it. You've got the x part and the y part. And both of them in terms of t. So it's it's like a, you can convert it into um, Cartesian form, which is like this from parametric form. But generally, it's easier for us to deal with these questions without having to resort to, uh, re, um, you know, changing it to this form. In this particular case, it wouldn't be too difficult to do so. It would be pretty simple to do so. But um, in general, uh, sometimes it's very difficult to change it into parametric form so we should know how to deal with it into sorry Cartesian form so we should know how to deal with finding things like gradients and so so on without having to change it into this form it's something we need to know and so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to solve this um, just using it in parametric form so first of all let's look at the big picture in this question they told us that the line L1 is a tangent to C and it's parallel to the line with equation y equals x plus 5. Find the equation of line 1. So first thing, they're asking us to find the equation of a straight line. The tangent is a straight line. Okay, so in our mind, we have to think, okay, I need to find the equation of a straight line. So to find the equation of the straight line, we need two pieces of information. We need to have um, any point on the line. It doesn't have to be any particular point. It can be any point that must be on the line. If we have any point in the line, and if we also have the gradient of the line, okay, if we have these two things, we can find the equation of the line. Okay, with these two things, we can find the equation of the line because we know that y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So if we know the gradient and we know the point x1 and y1, we can then find the equation of the line. Okay, so as long as we have any point in the line, and the gradient, we can find its equation. So now that's our objective. Now, first of all, they've told us that the line is parallel to the line with equation y equals x plus 5. So this is, we know this straight away from the question, because lines that are parallel have the same gradient. So the gradient of this is going to be the same as the gradient of this, and this is in the form y equals mx plus c. So the coefficient of x is a gradient, and the coefficient of x here is 1. So I know that the gradient of the line, m, is equal to 1. So I know that straight away. So now we've got to find the point on the line, um, the tangent. Not, not any point on the curve, on the line, on the tangent. Okay, when I say the line, I mean the tangent that we're trying to find the equation of. So we've got to find a point on the tangent. Now, of course, the tangent touches the curve at the point where it's the tangent to the curve. So if we can find the coordinates of the point where the tangent touches the curve, we've got the point on the line. We've got the point that we need. Okay, so we also know another bit of information about the point where the, ta the tangent cuts the curve. We know that the, 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 the gradient of that curve at that point is equal to 1. So we can say at the point where on the line where it touch where the gradient where the tangent touches the curve, we know that the gradient is equal to 1. The gradient is equal to 1 where the tangent meets the curve. Okay, so we know that for sure. We know that at the point where the tangent meets the curve, the gradient of the curve is 1. So I know that at this point, dy dx is equal to 1 of this uh, parametric equation. So Basically, we need to find dy dx for this curve. If we can make dy dx equal 1, and then we can find, um, you know, that the, the, we can use that to find the coordinates of the point 
where the gradient is equal to 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find dy dx. So um, to find dy dx for a parametric curve, what you do is you use the chain rule. So dy dx is the same as dy dt times dt dx. That leaves us with dy dx. So I know I can find dy dt and I can find dx dt. Now do you, if we know that y is equal to 2t, then we can say dy dt is equal to 2. And if I know that x is equal to, now I'm going to split this into separate terms to make it easy to differentiate. So I've got t squared over t, which is t. And I've got minus 3t over t, which is minus 3. And I've got minus 4 over t, which is minus 4 times t to the power of minus 1. I've just written this as a numerator to make it easy to differentiate. So now everything here is ready to differentiate. And I can go ahead and do that. So this is going to be now dx dt is equal to 1. Minus 3 will become 0. And you'll have plus 4 times t to the power of minus 2. Now before I use this, I'm going to try to simplify this. This is 1 plus 4 over t squared, which I can write as one fraction to make it easy to manipulate. If I write it as one fraction, I have the common denominator of t squared. This will be t squared over t squared. So it'll be t squared plus 4 over t squared. That's dx dt. This is dx dt. Now I know that dy dx, as I just wrote here, is equal to dy dt, which is 2, times dt dx, which is the reciprocal of this, which is t squared over t squared plus 4. So I've got 2 t squared over t squared plus 4. That is dy dx. That is the gradient function. And I know at the point that I'm looking for, I know that the gradient is equal to 1. So we know that the gradient is equal to 1. Therefore, dy dx is equal to 1. So 2t squared over t squared plus 4 equals 1. So I've got 2t squared equals t squared plus 4. If I bring everything together on one side, I'm going to get t squared. Well, I don't need to on one side everything because this is an equation you can solve quite easily t squared is equal to 4, so t is equal to plus or minus 2. Now, in the question, it states very clearly in the beginning that t is greater than 0, otherwise this will be undefined. So we know that t is greater than 0 because it states that in the question. So that means I'm not going to accept the t equals minus 2. I'll say t cannot be, okay, um, it's, well, we can say t is greater than 0. Therefore, t is equal to 2. Okay, so, um, well, it doesn't, yeah, t can be negative, of course, from this, but in this question, it tells us that t is greater than 0. The only t, the value t can't take here is 0 in, from the equation, but the question tells us that this is true for t is greater than 0. So that's why we reject the t equals minus t, 2, and we accept the t equals 2. Okay, so now, we need to find... Um, remember, what we're trying to do is to find the coordinates of the point. So, as I, as I mentioned, we already got the gradient. We're trying to find the point on the line. Now, at the point that we're looking for, we can see that the, the gradient is equal to 1. So, we worked out the value of t at that point. But we want a value of, we don't want the value of the point in terms of t. We want the value of the point in terms of x and y. So, I need to find out what the value of x and y are for that point where t equals 2. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so here we have the original equations. So we know that when t equals 2, x equals 2 squared minus 3 times 2 minus 4 over 2, which will give us 4 minus 4, which is 0, minus 6 minus 6 over 2, which is minus 3. So that is the x-coordinate of uh, the point where the gradient is 1. And when t equals 2, we see y is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4. So that's the y-coordinate of the point, and we know the gradient of the point is equal to 1. So now we can find the equation of the tangent. This is the point where the tangent hits the curve. This is the gradient of the tangent. So the equation of the tangent can be given by the formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we're left with y minus 4 equals m, which is 1 times x minus minus 3, which is x plus 3. So y minus 4 equals x plus 3. 
So y is equal to x, and you're going to add 4 to both sides. y equals x plus 7, and there we have the equation of the tangent at the point where the gradient of the curve is equal to 1. Okay, so that's how we answered this question. So you, you use the fact that the gradient is 1 to find two things. We found, of course, the gradient of the of the, the tangent is the same as the gradient of this this line. And also we use the fact that the gradient was 1 to find the point where the, the tangent hit the curve. Because at the point where the tangent hits the curve, the gradient of the curve is also 1. So we use dy dx, made it equal to 1, found the value of t where that's true and then substitute that value of t to find the x and y coordinates of the point and then we found the gradient the the point where the tangent hits the curve and therefore we can find the gradient or the equation of the tangent i hope that was clear uh, thank you for watching and i hope to see you soon other questions about differentiation from p4 will be found in the playlist that i'll put over here um questions from the, the book of um, P4 in general will be found in this playlist over here. Um, I will put on top here a link to a P4 paper or P4 style paper and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link over here. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon.